All right, time now to bug out. And when we say bug out, we need the bugs need to bug out, specifically the spotted lanternfly. This invasive species has been spreading in the U.S. since 2014, and it is a big concern in Delaware. It sure is. Newcastle and Kent counties are both under quarantine, meaning you can't take firewood in or out of those counties. And the insect is beginning to spread in Sussex County. Delmarva Life's Katie Zarilli finds out what we need to know and what we need to do. An unpleasant pest and an unwelcome guest. The spotted lanternfly arrived in the U.S. eight years ago. Right now, Newcastle County, Kent County is under quarantine, meaning that we do have a significant amount of populations. Sussex County, we are starting to see more and more populations around the touristy areas. Katie Balicki is the spotted lanternfly project coordinator with the Delaware Department of Agriculture. She says they're first a threat to the environment. What they do is they actually suck out the sap from the actual plant. So the plant is too weak to produce fruit in the next season or um, just too weak to have the energy to survive the winter time. And they're a heck of a hassle. They produce a sticky substance called honeydew. What goes in must come out. Um, so it just gets on patios, on cars. And these nasty nuisances get from place to place through people. They just find ways to travel with people. Um, when I'm driving on I-95 in Wilmington coming down to Dover and you're stuck in uh, five o'clock traffic, you just see a whole bunch of adults spotted lanternfly in uh, August through September just landing on trucks and trailers. It's crazy what, the, what trouble they can find themselves in. Where they often find themselves is in this particular tree species, the tree of heaven. Spotted lanternfly will go after 70 plus species of plants, um, plants and trees. The one that they really like is tree of heaven. We actually look for spotted lanternflies in places like this, places next to Route 1 or the beach or uh, the raceway. And we see if there's a spotted lanternfly population there. Katie says transportation type businesses in a quarantine county need permits to operate. As far as residents go, they've got responsibilities too. It's being proactive through, uh, through the year, whether it's uh, scraping and killing egg masses uh, in the winter time or killing the nymphs and adults through, through the spring and summer and fall. If you're going on vacation, if you're moving um, from your, your spotted lanternfly area, you know, uh, check equipment before loading them into the car, keeping windows rolled up when you're tr on your travels. Like I said, I-95, I saw spotted lanternfly dive bomb trucks and stuff. So if you do find yourself caught in traffic on 95, just checking your car when you get to, um, to the beach or to your next rest area. Yeah, and if you're kind of vice versa for anybody outside of the spotted lanternfly area and might be going on vacation in Lancaster or Hershey Park, just checking vehicles and, and equipment before coming back home. She adds that if folks do spot these stinkers, they can report their sightings on the Delaware Department of Agriculture's website. The spotted lanternfly is also known as the hitchhiker bug. Don't want to see it. Don't want to see it at all. See it, kill it. Just be done with it.